Uh, hey guys, I'm doing a little bit of a how-to video today because this is something that a lot of people will, might be able to find a use for. And the how-to video today is on how to convert a WAV and an AAC file to an MP3 using iTunes. So what you want to do is you bring up your iTunes, you want to head over to Edit and Preferences. Now in here, you want to look at the General tab. Down here about the third level you have something called import settings. This is where you want to click. Now you see it imports using an AAC encoder right now, which means if I were to try and mess with these files, I could change them to an AAC. But that's not what I want. I want an MP3. And when you look at that, there's an MP3 encoder here. So I'll import using the MP3 encoder. I'm going to set it to a uh, higher quality. Actually, let's see how high up we can go. Let's set it to the highest possible quality. Alright. And that's all you have to do. Now now you can take any file, toss it into iTunes, and convert it to an MP3. Or rather, most audio files. I say this because there is no support for AUG Vorbis. I'll show you what I mean here. Um, Alright, I know what I'll do. I'll toss these three files over here. So I'm going to drag in some files from my other monitor real quick. So the first file I'm dragging in is an AAC file. So we'll toss it in, and here it is. As you can see right now, in the info, it is AAC audio. But I don't want AAC. I want an MP3. So what I do, I right click, and I go to create MP3 version, and it's converting it. And now it's done. Now I have an MP3 version here. And it also works, I'm going to delete both of these real quick. One second. It also works with WAV files. See, this is a WAV, and I drop it in. It says so right here, WAV. And it will also convert that to an MP3. So now you have an MP3 version of your file. See, I can copy this, go to the desktop, paste it, and there's an MP3 of my file that was a WAV before. Now the one catch is that, like I said, it doesn't work with AUG Vorbis. This is an AUG Vorbis file. It's, um, I just pulled it out of my dot Minecraft. But as you can see, it's an Og Vorbis, which means it won't open normally. I try and open it, Media Player just rejects it. Um, I have a different Media Player on my desktop to try and mess with it, but... File, open file, browse. Let's see if we can pull it out. Piano one, let's, I don't think it works. Yeah, see, so Aug Vorbis is really weird. So Aug Vorbis will not work here, but everything else really, most other audio types will. So that's how you convert an WAV or an AAC to MP3 using iTunes. Um, if you didn't know from here, you can mess with the metadata, like, where is the MP3 version of this? I don't want my a WAV crap. That's a WAV. So this is the MP3. So from here I can mess with the metadata, like I have an image right here I can toss it in. <clears throat> and then I can um, go to get info, actually go to info and I can change the artist because this is um, Art of Dying. Art of Dying, and it's off their album, Vines and Virtues, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember the exact name of the album, I think I, I'll just put that in there and I'll look it up real quick. Uh, where is it? Come on, that's the singles. <laughs> Holy cow, vices and virtues. That makes more sense, doesn't it? So, uh, do that. Now you got the metadata all taken care of, and, uh, if you're me, your real purpose for this is taking the entire thing that you've changed around and tossing it. Oh, shoot. Um, one second, gotta move this over. And tossing the entire file right into your Spotify local. So then it comes up on Spotify. And Spotify is on the wrong monitor to show you guys. And now to my local files, and you can find it right here, here. Wait, they actually have that on their discography? I couldn't find it when I was looking for it. 
That's nice. I was having trouble finding this on their discography, but now that it's there, that's awesome. I don't even have to import the track. So that's cool. And now the track is on Spotify for me to use whenever I want, although it was already there to start with, so this is kind of a waste of time. But I guess it worked because I was the discography correctly. Anyways, uh, I hope that helped out some people. If you need help with anything else or want me to take a look at something, feel free to drop a request in the comments. I've got time. I've got Google. Maybe I can figure something out for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you.